this one, Paul. So you might think, 
of lions has been from Africa, the Lion King, or many of the documentaries that you see on telly, they tend to focus on the African species. The main difference between the Asiatic lions that we have here at the zoo in front of us and the African species, except for the location, um, are things like their size. So, wow, hello. So we have got um, much smaller lions here at the zoo. The Asiatic species are a lot smaller and that is due to um, the size of the prize that they So Asiatic lions live in a really small area and it's called, I want to say it, should I say it? Yeah. So it, is, it should be pronounced gear forest, but I prefer to say gear forest because um, it's, it's much more of a pun there, isn't there? So, um, so they're from the Gura Forest in India. And it's a really small area. It's the equivalent to about 1,400 meters squared. So that forest is very, very different to the African Serengeti. So if you imagine our lions, they would like to hide in really dark forest canopies. Um, they also have a little fold on their head, which you can see when they're walking about. And that helps them to, um, to use a little bit of blood. It helps them control their feet. So when they get eyes on the he has got a really beautiful name. Um, most Asiatic clients would have a quite smaller and uh, white mane. So the reason for a lion's mane, um, there's a few different reasons. And they could be things like um, intimidating their competitors. So if you imagine that we're going to be a big one and you'll have a dark mane. Um, English is quite special because most Asiatic clients wouldn't have a quite such a thorough mane. But it's just like you size of their pride. So Asiatic lions, because they live in a much smaller area, so the group that we've got in front of us here consists of one male and two females. Now these are really, really special because um, our lions are endangered to species. They're also part of the European Wide Breeding Program. So the, the hope for us is that we might hear the fact of tiny lion cub claws that would be the genes over here. So we really need to protect lions out in the wild due to the fact that they live in such a small area. That's a really, really important reason is the conservation of an entire species. So in the fir forest at the minute, there are about 500 lions. So if you imagine on a quiet day at the zoo, we have about 2,000 lions. So if we look to the perspective, how low those numbers are in the wild. Now in the last 150 years, the population of lions So we
Oh, come on, do it, do it, do it. Oh, come on. Look at this one. This is a bad one.